What's up guys and welcome back and we are breaking down a brand new deck. Well, kind of a brand new deck. Yeah, we're bringing in Null. Now, Null is going to work in a few different decks, especially all of the death decks. But guys, we got to do it even bigger. We got to do it even better. And we're teaming them up with Galactus. So if you didn't watch the Cube Brush video already, definitely check out that link right there where I break down exactly how this deck works and there's one chain. Yeah, we don't need Magneto anymore. Instead, we're gonna be plugging in Null. Now, before we jump into the games, just a little bit of information for any of you guys out there that are maybe comic buffs or you're just not sure who Null is. Well, Null is the king of the symbiotes. Yeah, I know that's obvious, but here's a couple facts you may not know. Null was introduced in Venom number four, where they give you a little bit of a backstory of how he created the whole symbiote race and how, yeah, he's just as powerful as these gods and these celestials, especially everything we've seen in the MCU. Guys, he took down a celestial by cutting off its head with, you guessed it, the Necro Sword. So if you've already seen a Thor, the brand new Thor, then you know all about Gore the God Butcher and that sword. So that's a little bit of his backstory. There's much, much more. If you guys are interested in more backstories of these characters on these cards, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do a little bit of a deeper dive. Maybe we'll put out some you know, five or six minute videos really diving deep into these characters, giving you some facts and things like that. So if you want to see that, let me know. And until then, let's jump into the gameplay. All right, guys, so when it comes to gameplay, the biggest thing we're looking for is to make sure that we can get our cheat mechanics out, whether it's going to be Electro or Wave, letting us do our big, big play of Galactus on turn five. That is the key here. We don't rush it too much. Some people use wave on three to do Galactus on four, but I really like the turn five Galactus. So in this game, you can see we're playing our Electro and we're getting them out there so that we can start up these combos. Now, one of the important things is you have to determine early in this game where your lane is going to be for Galactus. So now that we have Electro out there, if you guys don't know how he works, well, we get an extra energy each turn, but his downside is we can only play one card per turn, and that is an ongoing ability. Now, the little trickery we like to do here is, well, we like to use our Doc Ock. So the whole point is we're going to be playing our Galactus, who's going to blow up the entire board. And when we do that, we really want as many cards down on the field as we can. So. When we play our Doc Ock, it's going to drain their hand, make sure that they really don't have a great play for turn six and get a whole bunch of power on the field. Going into turn five, we're doing that Galactus play. Now, they're only going to be able to play on this lane, so we'll see what they play and how it turns out. And there goes Galactus blowing up the board, taking out all the location and the cards with it. And you can see our Null just growing, getting so huge. Now we don't have the Null plus death combo here, but well, we can still do Null. And then we got to figure out with that extra energy that we have, what else do we want to add? Thinking through this, Killmonger makes the most sense in case they just have some kind of one drop that goes out. And there it is, Sunspot. That's a cute Black Panther. This Null makes him look tiny. Taking down game one with an easy win, an easy victory. victory. All right, so going into game two, same thing here. We're kind of looking for that play. We're wanting to make sure that we get an Electro and we don't have it quite yet. When we don't have our Electro, we just play the game like we normally would with our Destroy deck. Either one, throwing them off a little bit and not know what we're playing, but we just do what we can. Now we do have the Gamma Lab here, so we're just going to go ahead and turn this Death Block into a hole. That way we're going to have more power on the field again as they get destroyed, pumping up that Null. <laughs> and 
And there we have Wave. So Wave's going to allow us to get our Galactus out next turn on turn five. That way on turn six, we can play our other cards. Now the beauty here is everything's going to move to the right. So we are going to be playing into an empty left location. Now dropping the Galactus, we're going to see where they make their play, and we may get lucky. And there we go, death going on to the wrong location. Yeah, that's a copy of our death. Going to the last turn, we're going to throw down this giant null, just see how well it does. Yeah, that Magneto. Null's definitely better. Victory. What do you expect? The 49 Null. All right, so going into game three, the final game. Let's see what kind of fun we can have here. Now, we do get a free Bast, but yeah, Bast isn't going to be good for us. He's really good in those Surfer decks, but in this deck, yeah, all our cards are usually bigger than free power. Going into turn three, we're looking at the different locations. Where do we want to play Electro? And might as well just play him here. Now we've already started to look at where we want to play our Galactus and we're going to choose that right location. Like we did in game one, we're going to do our Doc Ock. Pretty much try to clean out his hand. Yes, we grabbed a couple of his really good cards right there in the middle lane, which, yeah, won't be there. Here comes that turn five Galactus clearing out the board. Now, we do have a Kazar to deal with, but the fact that we're taking out his blue Marvel, it is going to weaken them, and yeah, we still have a null. We also get to kill that squirrel just to make sure that we're bringing it down a little bit. And here probably wasn't needed to throw on Bass because he's the one that's always going to fight. Probably didn't need to do that. But it doesn't matter. That null, there's plenty of power to take over this location. Getting the emojis just like we've been getting all night playing this deck. And there you have it, guys. The deck just dominates. It dominates. I've been climbing. I've already got 10 ranks off this deck in just a little bit of time. So we'll see how it goes. Yes, there are cards out there that are going to be a little troublesome, like leader copying your null and your death. But hey, I've had it happen a couple times. And as long as you do them in the right order, and their location's full, you can get around a little bit of that with a leader. Now, Shang-Chi is also one of those to worry about, but you also need to see who's flipping first in. Well, sometimes you gotta YOLO, throw out your null and see what happens. Now, again, I appreciate you guys watching the video, and if you're still watching it, make sure to go down below, hit that sub button, hit the like button, and if you didn't before, leave a comment now. Let me know what you think about the deck, and let me know what deck you wanna see next. Our collection is getting very close to being full again. So if there's any certain cards that are maybe in the series four or five, let me know. If we got them, we'll make a deck. If not, maybe we'll pin that card. If you haven't already checked it out, go right over there. Got the video right there of the cube brush we did. And I should have another video for a recap of the last cube brush coming pretty soon. Till next time, guys. Y'all take it easy.